<laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the youtube channel we're down here track number two chase is hiding you're gonna make him sick chase <laughs> the camera's <laughs> moving all over we're down here at hertford northeast dragway we're down here at the top of the track uh we had to get away from all the copyright music down at our pit stall <laughs> there's copyright music all over the it's place partying down there. <laughs> So it's early in the day. It's only like five o'clock. So uh, we got first round probably shakedowns coming up in hopefully the next hour or so. It's a LTD. So this is an awesome track, guys. Y'all saw all the windmills. I didn't even realize North Carolina had that type of wind energy out here. Did you? I assumed, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't. Y'all had it. No. <laughs> Neither one of y'all knew. You don't make it like no, I, I don't make it out like I was the only one that knew. But so we're down here. <laughs> No. So at the very, very top of the track down there, you can't see it, but there's tons of windmills down here. And uh, I got out here earlier and I went all the way down to the end. It was pretty cool. I could actually hear the, the blades swooping. That was pretty cool. That was like the most fun part of my trip so far is watching the windmills. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's pretty neat. But anyway, so we're going to try to not get our teeth kicked in today. We got killed yesterday. We had a blast. It was fun. This is day number two at the racetrack. Kelly and Chase came. Uh, we brought the RV, so it's, it's a lot easier. It's a lot more manageable. And we were only, this track was only like 30 minutes away. So us and Shannon, we were the only ones left this morning when we got up at like nine o'clock. We were the only ones left at Outer Banks. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was that was interesting. All right, guys. So we're going to have a shootout, uh, 28th and 29th shootout. I think it's like $2,000 purse, $50 entry. Um, track hopefully is not going to quite be as sticky. Where'd Chase go? He's hiding. He's, he's bent down. Chase! <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully the track's not going to be quite as sticky, but we're going to have a bunch of cars. Shannon's here. Tyson's here with his 10 cars and his Pro Mod teams. So we're going to we're going to be in trouble. It's going to be fun, though. So Something check it out. That we just noticed, too. I haven't been here in a very long time. This messes a lot of people up when they're at a track. You can see the scoreboard is down here. That's not the finish line. And this shutdown is not super, super, super long. It's a decent amount, but it's not super, super, super long, but the scoreboard's there. So at some point they made this track longer, most likely you can see the, sh the finish line is actually right there. It's marked on the actual pavement itself. And there's a cone in the middle. So that is the finish line. So I can see a lot of people getting in trouble here, myself included, if you're in a race and you're trying to race and you kind of get mixed up on where you're at at the track, you're looking at the guy beside you, which you never should be doing, but everybody does it. And so, you know, you run it past. And if you make, I mean, that's a solid couple hundred feet. So if, you, if you're if you under power to there, I mean, you're going really fast and you're going to be off in the bean field back there. So, you know, it's one of those things you got to be very careful. You got to pay attention when you're at the track. So one of the things when you go to a track, you haven't been to a track in a long time, make sure you drive all the way down, go all the way down the return road, go all the way to the end and look, look at your turnoffs, look and see how many turnoffs you got um, and where you're, you know, at the very, very end, at the very last. If you make it that far, then you may be in trouble and just be prepared. Always do that when you're at the track, guys. Here's the surface out here today, guys. Wow. It is super slick, super good rubber base, and they're hosing it down. This is probably gonna be more radial friendly than slick friendly. We might be in trouble again today, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we just pushed up here. We got first shakedowns coming. I don't know if everybody's gonna come to a shakedown or not. We are going to since we were struggling so bad. But we got, I think, 13 or 14 cars. So we did, we made a bunch of changes too, like normal. We tried to do the one change uh, at a time the other night and it didn't work. So what we're doing today 
first thing we dropped air pressure we went from 13 and a half we're gonna go back down to 11 and a half what was funny though we thought the tire pressure and we may be going the wrong way but when you look at it black tracking with the more air pressure it black tracks the whole width of the slick which i mean to me that seems like that's a good thing but with a little bit less air pressure sometimes it don't black track the whole middle it just black tracks the, the outside edge so we're going to uh drop the air pressure down i don't know if it's the right move or not but we put uh 11 and a half pounds of air pressure it, the car was pushing right a little bit also i didn't even think about it uh milton uh saw it and uh maurice in the cut he saw it also so he he you know he was like man the car is pushing right and it's something i honestly didn't notice so we did a little bit of anti-roll bar adjustment uh we did a little bit of work on the timing map also on the timing retard uh generally it pulls eight degrees out and then it ramps it back in in three seconds and that's where it was and i had the timing uh the my boost controller working but I, it was pulling timing out as well the other week when it was going down but it's not doing that now so we just did a little bit better timing curve. We're gonna leave eight degrees out for 1.2 seconds and then ramp it in from there over three seconds. The back shocks are eight and eight. That's where we were last night on our last pass. So we're gonna try it, see what happens. We got Milton and uh, Zach out here today, helping out. Kelly's here. All right, let's make a shake down. He almost made it around the corner, but he's okay. The thing about these tracks, I mean, it's a little deceiving. If you run it to the scoreboard, you're you're going to you're way too past. You don't have enough stopping room. If you throw the parachute early, and you're able to, you know, actually get on the brakes at the finish line, which is hard to see. I couldn't hardly see nothing with the sun pointing right in front of you. But you gotta I mean, you gotta be on the brakes hard. It is, and that sun is right down the middle of the track. It is so hard to see. But luckily, he's all right. He just barely skidded it in there. He didn't go in it real, real deep. Hopefully the car's not there. From here, it looks like the car's fine. Yeah, okay, it's fine. You ready?
anticipated at all. But it did the exact same thing. And when you look at the data log, the data log, it hooks initially, no matter what air pressure we're at, and it makes it about eight tenths of a second, and then the converter pulls it down. It's almost like we need to throw more power at it to get it to run through it. But the tires, I don't know that that's going to be, I don't know that that's going to be the solution is to put more power to it there because if the converter is grabbing hard there, then, I mean, it, we might be able to make it, you know, try to plow, plow through it, but I just don't think it's going to work. So we're fixing to take the tires off and then we're going to decide if we need to, if we want to put the radios on it or not. The track is really, really sticky. So we're going to, well, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do yet. All right, guys, so we're about to roll back up there. So what we do, Zach and Milton? Oh my God. I can't, y'all see that? It's kind of dark, but those are the radials. Um, 275, no, 2018 and a half pro bracket radials. So clearly the slicks have not been, we haven't made any passes on the slicks in two nights. So, I mean, it could be that I won't throw more, it needs a bunch more power, but we just, I, I pulled the old data log. And so what we're gonna do now, I dropped the launch RPM to 4,000 RPM. With a radial, you gotta drive off with a radial. You can't have tire speed on a radial. So we're not changing the sleet shut set up, but we're we're changing the shocks. So we're not changing the bar angle. What we did is we stiffened up the rebound to what, 14? 14. So we're eight compression. That should let the car squat, and then it should hold it down. And according to Jerry Bickle and McCamus and all of them, we're gonna to try to treat this radial similar to a slick. So we got 12, 12 and a half pounds. What we go with, 12? 12. 12 pounds of air pressure. And and that set up there, the tune, I've got like a, it's a lazy ramp, four and a half second ramp. And uh, I mean, it's still a lot of boost though. So we're going to just try to drive off 4,000 RPM launch. It should leave on like 5.5 .5 pounds of boost. Unless it's cooler air, maybe we're fixing to find out if the cooler air, if it still makes six or seven pounds of boost, then we know the cooler air is, is uh, making more power. So, uh, all right, we're gonna try it. They just called us, so we're fixing to roll up there now. All right, let's go. We're gonna try to get, we're gonna try to go a pass clean. God, them rims are freaking dirty, son. Bad dirty. They are super dirty. About to wipe them off. <laughs> Woo. All right, it'll be all right. It goes with the look of the car. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, was. I, was. I, was. I might've kept in front of you. All right, so I need you. Where are you at, Shannon? Y'all get up there. We'll go first. All right, I'm right. Yeah, we drew Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> It don't matter. It's, I mean, it's one of those things, you know? As luck would have it, we drew my buddy Shannon. <laughs> it just can't get any worse on our luck for the draws or for the actual car actually running reasonably fast. So we're going to go first little pair down. He's got the uh, right lane. I've got the left lane. But they're going to both be good. I mean, bracket cars up there now. Like I said, we put the radios on it. So we're going to try it and see what happens.
right, guys. Well, we are loaded up. We are first round ducks again. This is two nights in a row that we went home first round. Now, a couple things that last night and tonight had in common is both tracks were basically radial prep tracks. So radial prep and slicks for me is not working. So this last pass, we put the radial radials on it, hoping that we could get down and it would go down and, and work. But that was not the case. It didn't work. Shook the tires. That's what happened last time I did that. Without making a bar change, you know, just guessing, shooting in the dark. I come to another realization. And I come to this realization several months back. It's been, actually it was last year when I was racing Jason Tyson at Galat at our free entry uh, clock zone race. I think I went a 460, 450 something. I don't remember what I went. I went pretty fast. But I got freight trained and, you know, I had lost by, you know, it wasn't terrible on the ticket. It was about, uh, I think it was a 430 something to a, a 450 something. And so that was that 20 mile per hour gap, though, that is what got me. And that that put me in my lane that I need to be in limited prep stuff, um, you know, no prep places where you shouldn't have to run a radial. And, you know, and that's 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 my lane. That's what I've been focusing on what I've been trying to do, trying to get a tune up, trying to figure out how to make it go down consistently in limited prep. So last night at Outer Banks, it was not limited prep. It was really good radial prep, probably some of the better radial prep I've ever seen. Tonight at uh, Northeast, it's no different. It's the same. It's a very, very, very good radial prep. We throw the radials on it. Radials are getting sold. I'm, I'm done with the radials. They're gonna they get are. dismounted this week. Uh, I'm gonna order some new Mickey Thompsons uh, this week. So they'll be on for this coming weekend. So my plan for next week, was uh, Thursday night, Kenston 252 race. And then on uh, Friday night, Mooresville, JJ's no prep. And then here for uh, Brock's race, big race, huge race. Uh, they're pretty confident that it's gonna be the same prep. So I'm probably gonna bow out of Brock's race here uh, next week. And it's just, I mean, it's just simple cause I can't live here. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things. My car is not fast enough to run on a track where it's it's got a lot of glue on it. Um, so, I mean, it just is what it is. I got to get in my lane. This is the, the race that Randy's car is built for. Randy's car, this is the one that we're trying to do to where, you know, we can we can haul butt and go fast on a good prep track. And when we're at a no prep or limited prep, that's when we're taking mine. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's that's just that's where we're at. So it was fun, though. But I'm going to go catch second round. We had 10 cars, so they're down to five cars. Uh, Shannon done a monster wheel stand against me. That was freaking crazy. And I got back in it. I shouldn't even got back in it, but I did like an idiot and I almost hit the wall. It, it pulled left real hard. So luckily uh, we're done. So we're going to go um, catch this last round. They're going to get down to three cars and then we're going to bolt to the house. Okay, so Tyson had two cars entered, the gray car and the green car. He drew himself for this round. Shannon drew the buy. Brock drew the truck. So down to five cars. Here we go, second round. Super. This is radio prep. This is Jason Tyson. down to three cars shannon that truck and jason tyson with the green car so that's going to be a killer semifinals but we're bailing out starting to thin out we're about three hours from the house we can get home before tomorrow well no it'll be after tomorrow so if you guys
guys will please comment, like, and subscribe. Go fast, get some wind lights. We got our teeth kicked in the last two nights, but we ain't done. We, gonna, we ain't giving up. We're going to have fun. Hit that join button if y'all want to join us for our weekly live chats. Good Lord. I got to go on a diet, guys. This is ridiculous. It'll make the car go faster, too. Later.